Hello everybody and welcome. Throughout this video, we'll look at a variety of ways and we'll go through some progressions of techniques that will show you how to create cool PowerPoint visuals like the ones you see here. Let's get into it. Let's begin with the first topic, which is blending shapes with pictures. Starting with a blank slide, let's draw a rectangle that fills the entire slide. While we're here, let's change the color of the shape and this rectangle will serve as our base shape. Next, we'll add a bunch of hexagons because this is a popular arrangement you'll see online. So let's draw the hexagon and we'll make the shape white, remove the outline, and once it's done, we'll copy it a bunch of times. So here's where you can do some cool tricks to copy it. You have a few choices. You can either click on the shape and press Control D or do a Control Shift and drag to copy it. The choice is yours. Now from here, we're going to speed things up a bit and move our shapes into some semblance of order. And my apologies if the arrangement isn't the best since there is no need to waste time with aligning and distributing everything. All right, that looks good. Let's move on. Okay, now for this photo effect to work properly, we need to click on the base shape first, which is the rectangle we started with. Next, we'll hold down the shift key and then click on all the other shapes. Once this is complete, and here comes the magic move, we'll go up here and click on shape format, merge shapes, and choose subtract. Now at first glance, it looks like nothing really happened, but let's see what we get when we add a picture. So let's go up here and choose insert picture. Let's go with stock images. And for this example, we'll go with an office interior. And let's go with this one right here. Next, we'll do a right click on the photo and choose send it back. Okay, that looks a little more interesting. Now the cool thing is we can reposition the photo to where we want it, resize things a bit, etc. In truth, we could stop here because for all intents and purposes, this does look acceptable. Yet, let's build on this example. Okay, so here is where things get interesting. At this point, we can start to integrate other PowerPoint functionality to create some cool effects. For instance, we can go over here, do a right click and duplicate the slide. Then on the second slide, resize the picture a little bit, maybe enlarge it. From there, we can select both slides by holding down the shift key then go up to where it says transitions and apply the morph effect. Now, if we run our slideshow, you get this really cool zoom effect. Not too bad, could be worse. Let's move on. Let's go one step further and say we want to change the picture as we move from one slide to the other. So we'll start by going to our slide, then do a right click and duplicate it. Then on the second slide, we'll change the picture by first clicking on it and then going up here, and choosing picture format, change picture, let's say to something like this. Now, if we select our slides and apply the morph effect, logic says when we run the show, everything should morph, yet it's clear things didn't quite go as planned. So what went wrong? Okay, in order for the morph transition to work across slides, there are times when we have to give the objects you want to morph the same name. And the important part is the name you give them must have two exclamation points in the front. The way you do this is to go to our first slide, click on the picture, then go up and from the picture format tab, choose selection pane. Then over here on the right, you'll notice PowerPoint gave the picture some generic name and we can change the name to be whatever we want. Let's not forget the two exclamation points. So let's go with a name like this. From here, we'll copy the name, jump to the next slide, click on the photo, and over here in the selection pane, we'll paste the name from the previous slide. Next, we'll select both slides, apply the morph effect. Let's run the show, and things look a whole lot better. Okay, pretty cool, let's move on. Okay, but why stop there? Let's go one step further and look at how to morph a shape into a picture. And the good news is you already know how to do the majority of it. Let's start by adding a shape and remove the outline and let's change the color. From there, we'll duplicate the slide and move the rectangle over here to reposition it, resize it a bit, then go click on shape format, shape fill, choose picture, and let's go with another interior, insert it and oh my, this isn't quite what we expected. So how do we fix this? To fix it, let's go up and choose Picture Format, Crop, 
And then over here, it says fill. We'll choose that. And that will allow us to see the whole picture. From here, we can adjust it however we want. Okay, that looks much better. The next step is to give the objects the same name across slides. So we'll go back to our first shape, go to the selection pane, give it a name with some exclamation points, copy the name, jump to the next slide, click on the picture, paste in the name. Now let's apply the morph effect. Let's run the show, see what we get, and that works. Pretty cool. Moving on, now we can build a cascading effect in our presentations. And all that means is you can continually morph the same object across slides. So for example, let's say we want this photo to morph into a shape on the next slide. To do that, let's first duplicate the slide, then click on the picture, and then from the format tab, let's choose edit shape, change the shape, and in this case, we'll go with a rounded rectangle. Let's change the color, and for fun, let's just rotate it a bit, maybe modify the edges. Okay, that looks good. Let's run our show and see how it looks. Ah, pretty cool. Okay, hopefully you can get the idea of what you can do. Let's move on to something else. Okay, so in this segment, we'll take a look at how to create cool blends by using text, shapes, and video. To begin, we'll start with a blank slide and then click on insert video. In this case, let's go with an abstract one since that gives us some cool options. Eh, how about this one? That'll work. Since we're already on the video, let's go up and click on the playback tab and choose automatically for when we run our show. From there, we'll add a text box, change the font type, and let's not be shy about making the font size pretty big. We can also take a moment to reposition the text and resize the video a bit if we want. Okay. This next part is kind of goofy, but it's the best you can do to make it work. Click on your video first, then hold your shift key down, then click on your text. From there, go up to the search bar and do a search for merge shapes. And off that menu choice, you want to choose intersect. And you'll notice that the text and video are now blended into one. Pretty cool. Let's run our show. Okay, that's what we got. Not too bad. All right, pretty sure you get an idea of what we're driving at. Let's move on and look at another type of text effect. Now, let's take a look at another type of effect we can create. Let's start with a blank slide and we'll add a video going with another abstract one. After the video is inserted, let's draw a rectangle that covers half the slide and we'll change the color to make it a close match to the video itself. Next, we can do something funky like this. Let's do a right click on the shape and choose edit points. Editing points allows us to contort the shape into something atypical. Basically, the way it works is you hover over the line and wait for the pointer to change into this target looking thing. From there, click and drag to warp the shape and you can use these handles to modify things. There's a lot you can do here, so we'll keep it brief. Next, let's add some text. And again, don't be shy with the font size. Once that's complete, click on the rectangle, then hold your shift key down select your text, then go up to where it says shape format, choose merge shapes, and this time we'll choose combine. Now we get this really cool combo effect. And there you go, let's move on. Okay, let's take a look at one last effect. And since you know the majority of it already, we'll kind of speed things up to get to the good stuff. Let's start with a blank slide and we'll insert a video. From there, we'll add a shape. Let's change the color to something a little darker. We'll then add our text box and modify our font. Next, we'll click on the shape, hold our shift key down, then choose the text box and choose shape format, merge shapes, subtract. Now we could run this slide as is and it'll work just fine. Yet let's give it a bit of a twist. Let's go up and click on shape format, shape fills, more colors. And what we'll do is play around with the transparency a bit which will give us the ability to see through the layered shape. The key here is to not go overboard with the transparency. Let's try to keep it between say five and 7%. Okay, let's take a peek. Now that's pretty cool because we can clearly see our text up front and that transparency effect allows us to subtly see the video playing behind the scenes. Pretty cool. Now just for kicks and grins, what we can do is we can apply a shadow effect to the shape which will give our text a little bit more pop. 
So that's something you can play around with as well. Okay, and that'll just about do it for this one. By chance you're interested in getting some awesome PowerPoint templates at ridiculously affordable prices, feel free to check out the link below. And as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.